Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We my bread let me do what i have to do for night is gone when no man can walk my people where we are lying let us do what we have to do why we are lying let us have our god why it is day let us do what we have to do. Night is coming. When no man can work. Sister Faith, Lisa, where you are like, mm, please do what you have to do. Where you are like, hold on to that walk. My people, why it is day? Do what you have to do. For the night is coming when no man can walk. Mr. Bender, where you are left now, go down to the truth. There's no preaching in the grave. Why we are alive, let us do what we have to do. Jose Manuel, why it is day, let us walk. For the night is coming when the man can walk. Sister, sister, take your take note of that. Let's pray. Our most high God, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you. We exalt your name because you give us a, you gave us the day again that we might work for you. Father, for so many, the night has come. They can never walk again. Father, why we have the bread, speak to us, O oh God. Amen. So many thousands and millions, the bread is taken. They are down there. No matter how they shout, no matter how they preach, they can never hear again. Okay. Father, speak to me. Amen. Speak to me. To the Amen. end, we'll meet you in glory when our bread shall be taken. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray. Amen. The message before this morning is titled, Make haste, why the light shines. Make haste, why the light shines. Brethren, I always say it on this mountain. The difference between you and that one that died yesterday is just a second's breath. Rather, or the difference between you and those more, more the image are there is the breath in you. And whenever you hear grace, 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 the grace upon your life is the breath in you. The grace upon my life is the breath that I am still breathing. When the breath is gone, 
grace is forever gone. And this morning, the Lord is telling us, whatever we have to do, we must do it while the light is still shining. Because where we are going to, in the grave, there's no light there. The Bible told us in the book of John chapter 12, John chapter number 12, from verse 24, from 34 rather, the people answer him, we have heard out of the law that Christ abided forever. And how sayest thou, the Son of Man must be lifted up? Why, where, or who is the Son of Man? Verse 35. Then Jesus answered, Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while, Sister Labake mark that place. A little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light. He did not answer them, Yes, I am the Son of God, I am this. He gave them a word for them to ponder on. Yet a little while, the light will shine. I paraphrase. Walk ye while the light shine. Lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth none where he goeth. This is why ye have the light. <laughs> why ye have the light. Believe in the light. Walk in the light. Do something about the light. And this is what the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us today. Say a little why that your bread will be taken from you. A little why the message you are refusing now, you'll be taken from the message. Get this. The message will never be taken from you. You are the one that will pull out of the message. Once you die, the message continues. And Paul says something. You can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. A time is coming. And it's a little while. The message, the light that is shining now every day. And the people hate the light so much. What is that light? The gospel truth. Make haste to grab it. Do something about it. Do something about that sin. Do something about the lifestyle. In a little while, in a twinkle of an eye, you will be taken away from the light. And then, you want to see the light again, there will be no more hope for you. If you don't get it now. And as we are talking right now, many people want to see the light again. The light that shone on them while they were on earth and they refused it. They took it as side play. But today, they are looking for the light everywhere. And the light is forever gone from them. The Lord is saying today, what I say to them then, I'm saying to you now. In a little while, the light will be taken from you. What will you do if you meet yourself in the outer darkness by refusing the light now to shine upon you? Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So why you have the light? Why you have the word of God in you now? Sister Omar Bolaji, do something about it. Why the word of God is still, is still visible in your hands now? Why we still have the word of God to make change, to correct our yesterday, our polluted yesterday? Let us do something now about our polluted yesterday. Why the light is shining? So many people thought, by next week, I will, I will do something. No, I heard you, sir. I heard you, man of God. Don't worry. By next week, I will do it. And yesterday, and they are existing, and the light is forever gone. And they are looking for the man of God again to talk to them. The man of God is not, it will never be there again. And they are down, down there. And God so much favor us. He's telling us too, you are not better than those that their light is gone. You are not better than your forefather father that they have died many, many, many years ago. They are done, 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 there. No matter how we pray, 
we must also go one day think about it. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible makes us understand. In the book of Roman, I mean Revelation 3, verse 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door. I paraphrase, I am knocking because light is still shining. I am knocking at that door now. Forgive that person that forgive that person that offended you. Leave arm robber alone. Leave fornication alone. Don't do prostitution again. Oh, ye man of God, don't lie to my children again. Preach the truth to them. But you are holding on. You are holding on. Let me tell you something. So long the light is shining, it will keep knocking. But when it light off, it will drop his hand, it will not knock again. Then, it will be your turn. You will use your head to knock at the door, it will not open. You will use your leg to knock, it will not open. You will use your body to knock, it will not open. Now the Lord is knocking at your door. My daughter, come back to me. Why would you give up because of, because of job? Why would you give up because of baby? <coughs> On that day, job will not start before you. On that day, baby will not, baby will not start before you. Come back to me. You are saying, no, I cannot. No problem. You keep knocking so long as you say, mm, mm. as far as the breath is there, the Lord is patient to keep knocking. The Bible says, the mercy of God endures forever. So long as sister Lisa lived, the mercy of God endures. So long as I post the live, the mercy of God endure. But immediately, that junction of separation come. The soul separated from the body. The mercy is expired. Let me tell you something. Your soul cannot receive forgiveness before God. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. The soul cannot receive forgiveness. Is the body is on earth here? They have forgiveness. Whatever you sow to your body now, to your soul. Your soul will reap before the Lord. Make haste now to correct yourself. Make haste now to, to, to change or to, to confess your sin. That polluted yesterday. Do something about it now. That polluted yesterday. Yes. Do something about it now. That polluted last minute. Do something about it now. Because you never can tell what the, what the next minute shall be. Your next me shall be in eternity. I always tell us the, the distance between us and eternity is closer than tongue and teeth. To walk into eternity, you don't need to buy ticket. <laughs> to walk into eternity, you don't you, you don't need stress. You don't you are already in eternity. Is somebody hearing me? I think so. Thank you, sir. Eternity is very, very close. Those people that, are, that enter this night, they never, they never thought it's so easy to enter in. To enter into eternity is a second. The second that breath is gone, you are your eternity. And wherever you meet yourself, there you shall be forever. Hundred million years will pass by, you are there. Forty billion years we pass by trillions of years pass, pass by you are there then i ask you this question how can you bear it if because of 40 years of enjoyment man of god if because of 40 years of marriage that you have on eight year if because of two years in that job job you are you you, you allow your boss to be using you to do nonsense because of one five one thousand five hundred dollar, because of uh, maybe two 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 thousand pounds, you are selling your soul. Make her now and run away from that boss. Let's make you sign sign what you're not supposed to sign because of money. Make her now and run away. Repent of your sin before the light is gone. The light of the gospel is shining on somebody this morning now. You might play with it, no problem. It's knocking at that door now. Forgive now. It's knocking at that door now. 
leave that prostitute prostitute house and go home. Repeat. You are resist. You are resist. I don't know that sin you and I are committing. I go, the Lord is knocking at the door. Open. Open. You are saying no. As I said before, when you get to hell, the devil will give you hammer to knock at that door. I will say it's forever, forever late for you. Think about it. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The Bible told us in the book of John chapter 9, verse 4 to 5. I must walk the work of him that sent me. Why the light is shining, why it is day. For night cometh when no man can walk. The Lord was not talking about this and uh, that. No! The night we are talking about here is the night there. When I, I watched one video yesterday, this man was in the party. She was dancing <laughs> in iniquity. <laughs> dancing at the dressing, it's like all those American people dancing and de- dancing. All of a sudden, the owner of the bread said, You are not supposed to be here, you are supposed to be in evangelism now. You are here dancing, you are supposed to be on the mountain listening to my little boy that people have rejected. You are here dancing. All of a sudden, she collapsed in her dance, <laughs> and that was the end of her life. And today now, she will dance for eternity. Those people she was dancing with, nobody was buried with them now. You they say because of your friend, you will go to hell. I pity you. Eh, if I don't follow my friend to this party now, you'll be angry. Eh? Friend will be angry. We are talking about your soul. You are talking about your friend. Now, tell me now. If that party she went to now, she did it because of her friend. Would that her friend and follow her to the grave? No. Is that party she went to now with all her deck in her body? It was because of her husband she did this. Let me do this for her husband. I tell you, among those four or five girls she was dancing with, the husband is already eyeing one there. And let me mind that because it, I'm doing it for my children. It's a lie. She must, he must satisfy his kind of body. And the, the wife is forever gone. Who you die for, we not die for you. Who you die for, we only pass on you in the grave. Who you die for, we not die for you. Only Jesus died for you. Why would you follow him? Who you die for on earth? We not die for you, your husband will not die for you, your children will not die for you, your car will not die for you. Who you go to hell for, we not go to hell for you. Who you lose your life for, we only pour sand on you for the last respect. Only Jesus died for you. Why would you follow him? Hey, my father, I give you all the praise. He said, as long I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But people have rejected him. People have decided to, look, to leave the light and follow darkness. And many that have done so, they are enjoying what darkness brings now on that day. I've come to beg you. I've come to beg myself. Whatever we need to suffer, to hold on to this light, let us do it. Let your friends abandon you. It's worth it. Let everybody run from you, my sister. It's worth it. Anything you must suffer to hold on to your salvation, please, it's worth suffering for. Now look at where I'm coming from. Not to be compared to what the Lord has done for me. I look at the blessing. Should I call it blessing? I look at the, the sumptuous meal that the world brings. They can only satis- sacrifice, I mean, satisfy this my flesh. The world cannot help my soul. And it is the soul that will live for eternity. Why will I follow those who can only help me for temporary help? And abandon the one that have right from eternity. 
choose this day. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Many believers have missed the light. Instead of repenting and confessing their sins, they resorted to manipulations, devising their own means of generating false light. I say, hey, what is this? So yeah, this is what many churches are doing today. This is what many of my children are doing today. They found out that they missed it. Instead of them to come to me and say, my father, have mercy. He said, no, let us be manipulated. Let us be, be generating false light. My sister, if you have fall wrong to God, don't pretend you are not fall. That is even worse. You find out that things have happened to you. Run to Jesus Christ while you see at the straight. Don't try to start manipulating for your person. Man, don't feel that you are still there. Your person, man, don't, start, don't be manipulating so that people will not run away. Run to Jesus. It's better you cry to Jesus. People say, hey, you mean a man of God can also fall? Yes. It's better you laugh at me than I make error. If I correct this error now publicly, Sister, uh, sister Modupe will say, Hey, you mean Apostle Emmanuel. So for that reason, let me be adding more error to maintain the error. Let me be, let me be using lies to cover the lies. My sister, my brother, why the light is shining? Run to Jesus Christ now. Don't manipulate yourself into hell. Don't use your own heart to generate false light. And that's what many people are doing today. And he gave us a parable here. In Luke chapter 16, verse 1 to 9. And he said unto, also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man, which had a steward, a steward. <clears throat> and the same was, was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. Just as so many men of God now, they were, they were told about, they were told, Jesus Christ about them. Your son has missed it. And he spoke to that conscience. My son, my daughter, you have missed it. Verse 2. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. 3. Then the steward said with himself, he said with himself, What shall I do? For my Lord take it away from me. The stewardship. I cannot dig to beg. I am ashamed. This is exactly what people are doing. Instead of the steward, the steward will lie that flat. Hey, Father, I can't be a CEO. I have sinned against you. I am a waste. I am a fool. I remember one day, Sister. This is Sister Abiola. Sister, I learned something. Father, have mercy on I am a fool. I am foolish. I was foolish. Father, I am stupid. Father, what? Deliver me from stupidity. Deliver me from foolish. I said, hey, this is another self confession. No. Father, have mercy upon me here. This is what the steward would have done. But he began to manipulate his mind. What would I do now? Let's see for that. Verse 4, I am resolved what to do. That when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into the houses. So he called everyone of his Lord debtor unto him, his wife, and said unto the first, How much own thou, my, own thou unto my Lord? Do you that? Okay, uh, I own 40 euro. Okay, make it 20. That is what some churches are doing now. They, fall, they find out they are falling. They are beginning to lower their message now. Let us start preaching this way and so that people will stay. Now that we have lied, now that they are not manipulating, creating their false light, what they called truth yesterday is no more true again now. Now you cannot plant her now. Now you cannot do this. Now you cannot do that. They are not, they are not they are generating false light to their members. That is exactly what this man did here. 
instead of us to say, Father, we are sin. Hey, sister, so sorry. Please, Jamie, to pray. I sin against God. That message I preached yesterday, he said, it's not true to Father, forgive me. No. I will stand and begin to add more sin to sin. And sister Esther, you know what? And as far as your heart is joyful with it, do it. As far as you are happy, do it. And how much do you own? Oh my, oh my Lord. Okay, I own 40,000. Okay, bring it to, to 20. Sin does not matter anymore. Sin is no more sin. You know why? Because they are funny. They want you to follow. Everyone that this young man reduced that debt, they are going the way, the way he went. My brother, my sister, if your pastor has fallen and you know what he's preaching is a lie and you follow, you are, you are going to make hell now and run away from darkness. No man can shine light. The light only comes from above. The light that God brings. Have you been given a false light and you are happy? Your iniquity they have told you, okay, no problem. Uh, just wear the trousers and inside. As far as I is not saying it. Is it because of me? God says you wear trousers. It's, it's him. Uh, as far as God is not saying it, as far as man is not saying it, uh, the eye they seen it, we judge with it that day. Let your conscience be connected to God. There's something I always do. Whenever you are talking to me, I quickly connect my conscience to heaven. I put my ear in heaven. What, is that, what brother Gregory is telling me now? Father, what are you saying about it? My conscience, what are you saying? I, my conscience, do something. But today, some pastors have succeeded in killing so many, so many children of God's conscience. Their conscience does not discern anymore. They, they bring the Lord, they pack him on their hearts, and with some being mind, they start doing it. Nobody care to go to the word of God, but I have come to tell you, it's another day, make haste and repent now. Where the light is shining. What is that thing you are doing? God is crying about it. Maybe Apostle Manor is laughing on it. Don't, don't go my way. Go God's way. I made up my mind to go God's way for the rest of my life. Sister Modupe, I made up, I made my, up mind my mind to go, to go God's, God's way, way the rest of my, my life. life. Minister Ferdinand, Apostle Manu, I made up his mind. To go, go God's, God's way, way the rest, rest of, of my, my life. life. My beloved sister, I busted I made up my mind to go God's, God's way, way. The, the rest of, of my life. life. God's way is a holy way. Holy way. God's way is a righteous way. The only righteous way. God's way is a true way. True way. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people do. do. So long my Lord is happy, so long my Christ is happy, I don't care what, what people say. I made up my mind, Sister Mogalaki, made up my mind to go Christ's way, to go Christ's way, the rest, the rest of my life. life. Brother Gregory. I made, I made up my mind to, to go God's way, way the rest of my life. life. He told me before he left, 
The road that leads to heaven so narrow is narrow. Mm -hmm. Only if you find it out. But the road that leads to eternal destruction so why fornication pass through it other trust pass through it where your trust are the road is not very wide and pass through it carry see carry everything you need to carry the road is wide enough for you to pass in but the narrow way contain no sin you better repent the narrow way can contain no sin. No sin. You better, you better repent. That narrow way contain no sin. No sin. You better, you better repent. The narrow way contain no sin. Lord, help us to read. Yeah. I want you to go in this in that place. Jesus. The Father, the light has shone again. Let the light shine. Look every instead of me. Wherever that is, is let it be exposed. Whatever darkness has kept in me, that sin oh, that Jesus. darkness has covered. The Bible says the light shine in darkness and darkness covering us. Expose every sin in me. Whatever sin I thought it was true, let the light show me the real truth. Was I was I working on a manipulated light that men out of greediness manipulated for the let your true light shine upon me this morning? In Jesus Christ's mighty name, open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, 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 Father, in Upon them had the light shined. Isaiah 9, verse 4. I want to pray as a father. My polluted yesterday, my polluted yesterday, yes. Let today amend them. Let the light that have come today amend do something about my polluted yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was walking to hell. Let the light pull me out of the way of hell. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. are you out there you're not born again the light has come you are in that Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 you are on your way to eternal destruction the light has come now according to Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 repent of your sin and confess your sin 
and say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I am a woeful sinner, worthy of eternal damnation. But why on my way to hell, your light shone on me. Wash me clean. Purge me from all iniquity. I renounce the devil and the work he put in my hands to be doing. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I accept you this morning, Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into me and dwell in me. From henceforth, I receive the grace to live a new life. All things I pass away, and all things I become new. I receive the power to go and sin no more. So help me. God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray with you. If you have had the privilege to have confessed and to accept Christ this morning, I will rejoice. I will on this mountain. We rejoice to have received you as one of us. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I thank you for your light of shining again this morning. To those who have the privilege to, to see the light again. Father, your light have pulled many out of darkness this morning. I ask, O oh God, the grace to always abide in the light, painful or gainful. Give me, my sister, my brother, every one of us, the grace to always bear it. At the end of time, any power that want to dilute us and make us to start creating our own light, firstly, may that power be far from this mountain forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the fear of the Lord God Almighty increase in my heart and in the heart of, of all the ministers, every workers and everyone you brought to this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Because I know there's joy in heaven for the truth have been preached again. In Amen. Jesus Christ, mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Back to you, my beloved co worker. And now we are the righteousness of Jesus. We are risen with Him.
forever.